get ready to be inspired by the incredible life of Thomas Fuller, the self-taught mathematician who overcame immense challenges. In this captivating video, we explore the amazing story of a man who broke through all barriers to achieve greatness through the power of knowledge. Join us on this enlightening journey through history and see how education has no limits. Let's dive into the life of a true pioneer, Thomas Fuller, and the legacy he created as a symbol of hope for all those who aspire to learn. During the 1700s, a fascinating tale was happening at a time when people were often treated unfairly because of their skin color. This story is all about Thomas Fuller, a person who overcame many challenges to teach himself math. He didn't have formal schooling, but he still became really good at math. Thomas Fuller was a pioneer, which means he was one of the first to do something. He's like a symbol of how strong a person's desire for learning can be. Thomas Fuller's story is a shining example of how people can rise above the difficulties they face, even when the world around them isn't always fair. Early Life and Challenges Born in Africa, 1710, most likely somewhere between what is now Liberia and Benin, Thomas Fuller's life took a dramatic turn in 1724 when he was taken from his homeland and brought to America as a slave. At the tender age of 14, he became the legal property of Elizabeth Cox from Alexandria, Virginia. Thomas Fuller was born into a world where the unfortunate reality was that many black individuals, like him, were not given the opportunity to attend school. Racism, which means treating people unfairly because of their skin color, was everywhere. This made life very hard. Fuller didn't have a lot of money, and he didn't have the same chances as some others who had more. Yet, he didn't let this stop him. The quest for knowledge. Fuller's journey started with a strong and simple wish to gain knowledge, but he couldn't go to school like many others. So, he took a different road. He gathered books about math and started teaching himself. His hunger for knowledge was endless. Fuller dived into the details of mathematics, always trying to learn more and pushing himself to understand it better. The Unwavering Determination In a time when racism was widespread, Fuller's hunger for knowledge couldn't be stopped. He showed that being smart wasn't about the color of your skin. His self-taught math skills proved that nothing could hold back his determination. Fuller's story was a powerful example of overcoming tough times and succeeding against the odds. Thomas Fuller was asked to calculate the number of bricks needed to build a structure. He wasn't given any assistance and had to determine the quantity of bricks required entirely on his own. He successfully calculated the number of bricks required for the construction without any assistance. This incredible feat showcased his mathematical prowess and his ability to make complex calculations independently. It was a remarkable demonstration of his self-taught mathematical skills and his determination to overcome the limitations placed upon him by society. It's also known that he was often called upon to perform various mathematical tasks by local residents and authorities. These tasks included things like measurements, conversions, and other practical mathematical challenges in daily life and construction. Fuller's reputation as a self-taught mathematician extended beyond his extraordinary ability to calculate the number of bricks for a building, and he became a respected figure in his community for his mathematical expertise. When Thomas Fuller was around 70 years old, two men, William Hartshorn and Samuel Coates from the Pennsylvania Abolition Society, PAS, heard about his remarkable mathematical abilities. Benjamin Rush, a physician and founding father who was interested in proving black intelligence to support anti-slavery causes, was aware of this through his PAS membership. He reported their findings in the Columbian magazine. In their report, Rush highlighted the credibility of Hartshorn and Coates. 
they tested Fuller's math skills with several questions. They asked him how many seconds are in a year and a half, and he quickly answered 47,304,000. They inquired about the number of seconds a 70-year-old man, 17 days and 12 hours old, had lived. Fuller responded with 2,210,500,800. When one of the men challenged his answer, Fuller corrected them, considering leap years, and their totals matched. They posed a question about a farmer with six sows, each having six female pigs in the first year, and they all increased at the same rate for eight years. Fuller, after a bit more time, calculated the answer as 34,588,806. Delay in answering was due to a minor misunderstanding of the question. Despite his age and the physical signs of old age, Hartson and Coates believed Fuller's mental abilities had once been even greater. Fuller's obituary, published anonymously in 1790, also documented his extraordinary mental calculation abilities. It noted that he could solve complex problems faster than people using written calculations and expressed regret that he hadn't received the education his genius deserved. This obituary concluded that had Fuller's opportunities for learning been equal to others, renowned scientific societies, and even a figure like Sir Isaac Newton wouldn't hesitate to acknowledge him as a fellow in the world of science. Legacy and Impact Fuller's success reached beyond math. He broke down unfair ideas about race, his memory shows us how to push past the boundaries society might set. It tells us that everyone should have the chance to learn, no matter who they are. That's a lesson that goes beyond discrimination and prejudice. Family and later life. Although many details of Thomas Fuller's life story remain hidden in history's depths, the impact of his work still shines brightly today. He serves as a powerful example of perseverance, showing that when you have a strong passion, unwavering determination, and a relentless thirst for knowledge, you can conquer even the toughest challenges. Fuller passed away in 1790 when he was around 80 years old. He died on the Cox Farm near Alexandria, Virginia. A newspaper in Boston, Massachusetts called the Columbian Sentinel wrote an obituary for Fuller. It described him as Negro Tom, the self-taught math expert, and a scholar who learned on his own. Conclusion. Thomas Fuller's tale stands as proof of the incredible strength of the human spirit. His memory encourages us to see that education is something everyone should have, no matter their race or what others might think. It motivates us to break free from the rules society might put on us and to chase after knowledge with unstoppable grit, just like Thomas Fuller did when he transformed from a kid with almost nothing to a self-taught mathematician. This documentary uncovers the incredible life of a man who never gave up, no matter what challenges he faced. It's a story that proves if you're determined and eager to learn, you can achieve great things that will be remembered for a long time. It's all about being brave, strong, and believing that education is something that's open to everyone, no matter what gets in the way. We appreciate you coming along on this eye-opening journey through the life of Thomas Fuller, the mathematician who taught himself and rose to greatness despite all the challenges. Thank you for being a part of this journey with us.